Hi there, lovely people. Welcome to another mind-bending episode of Psycho Curiosities. I'm your host, David Karokawaji, and today we're diving headfirst into wild world of interest, hate, and cyberbullying. Strap in for a roaring coaster ride. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying occurs online throughout digital devices like computers, smartphones, or tablets, and it's a form of harassment or bullying. It involves using technology to repeatedly target someone with the intent to harm them emotionally, mentally, or socially. Cyberbullying can manifest in various ways, such as spending hurtful messages, spreading rumors, sharing embarrassing content, or impersonating someone through fake accounts. The impact of this harassment on the victim's mental health, self-esteem, and overall well-being can be severe. It is crucial for individuals to recognize cyberbullying and take measures to prevent and address it. Cyberbullying can manifest in comments, especially affecting internet content creators. That is why this hobby or job is quite challenging. Cyberbullying is a serious issue that affects many individuals, especially in today's digital age. It can take many forms, from hurtful comments on social media to spreading rumors or even threats of violence. The impact of cyberbullying can be profound, leading to anxiety, depression, and even throughout to of self-harm in some cases. As consumers, it's crucial to be aware of the effects of cyberbullying, not only the victim, but also on the perpetrator. Understanding the psychology behind why people engage in this behavior can help us combat it more effectively by promoting empathy, kindness, and respect in our online interaction, we can create a safer and more positive digital environment for everyone. In the digital age, the influence of the marketing and advertising on cyberbullying cannot be underestimated. Marketing and advertising strategies can inadvertently contribute to cyberbullying by promoting unrealistic beauty standards perpetuating harmful stereotypes and encouraging comparison culture among individuals online. Companies often use target advertising to reach specific demographics, which can further exacerbate feelings of inadequacy or insecurity in vulnerable individuals, potentially leading to cyberbullying behaviors. Moreover, the rise on influencer marketing has blurred the line between genuine content and the pint promotions, making it challenging for audience, especially younger individuals, to distinguish between authentic recommendations and sponsors' advertisements. This lack of transparency can create an environment where billing thrives as individuals may feel pressured to conform to unrealistic standards set by influencers or face online harassment and ridicule. As consent creator and consumers, it is crucial to be mindful of the impact that marketing and advertising have on shaping online behaviors and attitudes towards cyberbullying. By promoting authenticity, inclusivity, and positive marketing in marketing campaigns, we can help combat cyberbullying and foster and safer and more supportive online community for all users. Emotional triggers are stimuli that evoke intense emotional reaction within an individual. In the context of cyberbullying, these triggers can be anything from hurtful comments or messages to derogatory posts or images shared online. Cyberbullying can have a profound impact on a person's mental and emotional well-being, causing feelings of sadness, anger, fear, and even depression. 
the anonymity of the internet can make cyberbullying particularly insidious. As individuals may feel emboldened to say things they wouldn't say in person, it is important for individuals to be aware of the emotional triggers when it comes to cyberbullying, as recognizing what sets off negative emotion can help in managing reaction and seeking support. Developing coping strategies such as taking a break from social media, talking to a trusted friend on consular, or engaging in activities that promote relaxation and self-care can be beneficial. Additionally, creating a supportive online community, reporting abusive behavior, and setting boundaries with online interaction can help mitigate the effects of cyberbullying and protects one's mental health. Remember, it's okay to seek health and prioritize your well-being in the face of the cyberbullying. To protect yourself from cyberbullying, it's essential to be aware of the signs and take proactive steps to safeguard your online presence. Firstly, it's crucial to keep personal information private and only share it with trusted individuals. Be cautious about accepting friends' requests or messages from strangers. If you encountered any form of cyberbullying, do not engage with the belly and blog or report them on the platform where the incident occurred. Remember that it's okay to seek help from a trusted old friend or counselor if you are feeling overwhelmed or threatened by cyberbullying. Lastly, cultivate a supportive network of friends and family who can provide emotional support and guidance during challenging times. By staying vigilant and proactive, you can help protect yourself from the harmful effects of cyberbullying. Thank you for listening today to Psycho Curiosities. I encourage you to share this material and help promote my work. I also invite you to my other channels to get acquainted with my texts and recordings. The podcast was hosted by David Karol Kowodzi, a Polish mental health specialist from Australia. See ya!